hey hey y'all i'm back welcome welcome to the channel i hope you all are doing fantastic listen happy monday this has been a beautiful start to the week and i want to say i hope you and your family are doing well listen i want to say that i am learning so much from you all here on the channel you know i um you know i come with information every week but as i'm reading your comments and you know really um you know seeing what you all are saying in the comments or in the chats uh in the chats on the live videos I am learning so much from you all you know thank you for sharing with me what you all are seeing in your areas concerning food shortages empty shelves things of that nature because you know I could be seeing something totally different in my area but I just want to say thank you all so much for your feedback um, sharing you know what you're seeing in your area listen I'm doing this video uh, today to talk about something that we've discussed here as I respond to your comments that you left under the videos you know why is it that and I would like to hear from you okay feel free to chime in in the comments why you know we've mentioned this I've said this and now you all are telling me maybe you know people who are like this or maybe you're seeing people <laughs> let me know y'all why is it that with everything going on okay clearly you and I see what's happening right but why is it that so many you know I see many of you in the chat you're saying that people are still sleeping they're not awake they're distracted they have no idea what's going on and what's coming why do you all feel that's the case so you mean to tell me that inflation wasn't a red flag uh, y'all help me out what else has been happening high gas prices well we know um, even before the pandemic you know depending on the weather and other factors you know there are different times whether it was summer travel um, holiday travel there are different times even before the pandemic different times of the year gas prices fluctuate right they go up or down but even now with the gas situation um, some people could even argue what's going on between Russia and Ukraine um, the fact that, you know, and there are more and more talks about this now, I'm going to do a separate video on the channel. Companies are implementing hiring freezes, laying people off. We see what's going on with the housing market. None of this is a sign. Oh, can we talk about power outages, blackouts, rising energy costs? Okay. Um, where I am in Georgia, I believe right now. Um, I believe it's Georgia Power, okay? They are actually hearing from uh, individuals, customers about their proposed rate hikes, okay? So all of these things going on and there could be some things happening in your local area. Let's talk about clim the whole climate change agenda that some people are following. Uh, mandates, hello. Think about what happened around the time of the pandemic, right? None of these things are red flags to some people to make them say, hey, wait a minute. Something just ain't right. What's going on? There are people, y'all, you know, that are really just going about their daily life. Food shortages. I don't know if I said that. So food shortages. Hello. Haven't we all at least gone somewhere, right? Within At least within the past at least two years even more recently haven't we all gone somewhere and seen bare shelves I've, I've showed you shown you all several times here on the channel even in my most recent video i was showing you all how at the uh farmer's market where i was y'all i've never seen so many temporary temporarily out of stock signs okay so you got food shortages water shortages the supply chain crisis okay which i don't know y'all depending on how this energy situation goes in europe the supply chain crisis could get worse okay um i'm going to talk about this in a separate video but do you know that businesses uh, not only businesses but individuals households businesses are having to cut back on energy think about with business y'all if they're having to cut back on energy they're not producing as much as they normally you know would and that could affect the supply chain right 
So all of these things going on, food shortages, water shortages, supply chain crisis, um, layoffs, okay, mandates, all of these things are going on. If I left something out, y'all, drop it in the chat. Let's talk about it. All of these things are going on. And there are some people that say, oh, it's nothing wrong. They're not preparing. You know, they're not doing anything to prepare for what's going on currently and what's to come, y'all. More and more. Now, we've talked about this for some months now, okay, on the channel. Even last year, we've been talking about this, right? But I'm starting to actually see in the news, okay? They're telling us what's coming in 2023. Do y'all know some of the things that I've seen um, that they have said is coming in 2023? Food availability issues, okay? A food availability crisis, meaning more and more food shortages. A lot of food is not going to, I'm not going to say a lot of food is not going to be available, but it goes back to what I was saying about less food is being grown today to harvest tomorrow. What is the food availability what will food availability look like for us in 2023 think about that y'all there are some people who despite all the red flags all the warnings they're still not doing anything do you know people like that and if so how do you what do you say to them to encourage them and motivate them to make a change and get prepared Y'all, more and more talks are um, being had about the dollar. The fact that our dollar may not really be worth anything in the future. You know, you could think about even if you try to, what can you buy for a dollar? How far does the dollar stretch um, in these days and times? Think about it, y'all. You know, our federal government, I'm going to talk about this as well. They're preparing to launch um, or implement uh, some type of digital uh, payment, digital currency. Did you all know that? Did you know that's going on? Okay. It seems like they want to get rid of cash and they want us to use this system, but we'll talk about that more later. Maybe some of you all know about that. You can talk about it right here in the chat. But y'all, all of these things are happening. Some people have no idea. How do you help them? What do you do? You know, you can only say so much. You can't make someone uh, do anything you know everyone is their own person and they can make decisions based on whatever they feel like is best for them or best for them and their families but i'm gonna remind y'all winter is coming y'all a lot of uh sources say it's going to be a dark cold winter uh right now in uh europe they're dealing with an energy crisis people are you know scrambling they're trying to find firewood um other alternative uh, fuel energy sources because they they know they can't rely on natural gas. There's been natural gas shortages and price hikes. There are still people today that maybe they don't know everything that's going on. Okay, if, if you know people like this, share the channel with them. There are many others, but I'm inviting you to share my channel with them, encourage them to subscribe, look over all the many videos I told you all, I was talking about the supply chain crisis months before it became headline news. I was doing research. Hey, wait a minute. Look at all these ships and everything at this port in California. Do people not know what's going on? I was talking about that before it even became a headline story, y'all. So I want to uh, tell you all, thank you so much for trusting me to bring you news and information. Um, but what do you do? For those who seem to be lost and have no idea what's going on. You all let me know. I want to learn from you. Again, thank you all so much for sharing this video, liking this video, subscribing to the channel. I'll be back with more news and commentary you can use right here on Andrea Speaks TV.